real shepherd will watch him. If anything he gets wrong with the sheep, he's right on the guard, isn't he? A real shepherd, but a hireling runs back and lets the thing go through and kills the sheep. Isn't that right? But a real shepherd's on his guard. He says the true shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hireling shepherd won't listen. He'll run away and leave the sheep. But the true shepherd stays with the sheep. And I'm so glad that he said these words. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. As long as God's got a sheep, God's got a shepherd to lead that sheep. How happy we should be. God's sheep led by God's shepherd. How long was it to be? A little while and the world will see me no more. Yet ye shall see me, for I'll be with you, leading you, feeding you, guiding you, shepherding you to the end of the world. God shepherds. He don't have to take one down and put another up. Because man cannot be God's shepherd in that sense. One dies, another takes his place. But this one shepherd, the great shepherd over the flock, lays down his life once and become immortal. And his spirit now it can never be killed. And he is a constant perpetual leader and feeder of the sheep until his corporal body comes from glory and he sits on the throne of David and all the lambs will be around him. Men and women, God promised in this last day that he'd pour out his spirit upon all flesh. He promised he'd send the baptism of the Holy Ghost and he'd call a bride without spottering. He promised to do it. He'll do it. Don't listen to these hireling shepherds. They'll lead you astray. The Holy Spirit is a shepherd to feed you sheep food from His Word. It always comes by the shepherd. He is our shepherd. Listen to Him. You are the sheep of His fold. If you are, you hear His voice. Not what somebody else says. You hear what He says. A strange voice. You know nothing about it. They won't. How can their mothers eat it? But the wise, notice this, but the wise and intellectual, well-trained of the world still desire to say there is a Santa Claus. There's all kinds of fiction and stuff that they worship because they won't accept him, the word, because in their denominations it doesn't fit their taste. The hireling shepherds of the day. The hirelings from creed that are wanting to unite you under one goat. Don't you believe it? They'll lead you to the slaughter pen. Hear the great shepherd that was born 1900 years ago this month. Sometime out yonder in his message come to true shepherds that know how to take care of sheep. Would you rather listen to a hireling shepherd that would say, put your name on the book and join, uh, take this communion, say this, and it's all right? When the great shepherd himself said, except a man be born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of heaven. And look at those trained theologians of that day. Trained, holy, clean living. We have nothing to compare with it today, the way they live. And what did the great shepherd call them? Said, you are of your father, the devil. Because they didn't, they recognized the word, but the word of another day. Not the word of that day, 